Hello, hello, my lovelies. I got a video for you guys. This is a requested video, but I want to throw some little extra things. We are going to be reviewing the Gershon Gershon poly, poly Gel. Really, really excited. But this is what you get in your kit. Look how nice, guys. I'm excited. You get a file. You get a little pamphlet here, and you get a little card from Gershon says you know so glad to have you blah 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 nice it leaves their email on it and everything but inside the pamphlet it gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to apply all their poly gel which is really nice if you're new to poly gel you will enjoy this book and let me see here but yeah anyways let's see what else we have here this is what I dual forms these are really good dual, dual forms um i like these kind these are also they have a little c curve in these dual forms which is really nice if you can see that but yeah these are really nice dual forms you just fit them on your nail if you're ready to go but i will not be using these today i will be sculpting my poly gel out because that's what i like to do every once in a while i don't mind doing dual forms if i feel like doing dual forms you also get your base and top coat. I really like the labels. They look really nice. Beautiful, vivid colors on them. They are so, so nice. You get a poly gel tool. It has Gershon's name on it. You also get six bottles, and I'm really excited. These are 30 milliliter bottles, and I'm so excited because normally you don't get that. You only get like 15 grams or this and that, but I'm so excited that you actually get 30 milligrams of poly gel. And this is bean red. I've never seen a bean red before, but you get all these poly gels in your kit. So let's get started with shaping our nails. I want to talk a little bit about shaping when you go to shape your nails. I know this is going to be a long video, guys, and I'm going to apologize for that now. I'm taking these straight edge clippers from Japanese, and I'm just going to go around and clip each one of these nails off. And let's go ahead and do that to all five fingers. Clip off the edge. Take your Gershon file and gently buff up the layer of the nail surface. And I mean gently guys, no pressure or nothing. You're just barely going to scratch up the surface. Make sure you rotate the finger as you're buffing the nail because you don't want to cause any heat. That way any product that you apply to the nail will, abs will stick to the nail, whether it be acrylic or poly gel. Alright guys, so I have my Bayou Stiletto Tips. I got these on eBay. I'm going to size these up to each finger, which they all should be the same size, considering that it's the same size now on each finger. But it is not too small, because if it's too small, it's going to pop off. So you want to make sure that it's sidewall to sidewall. If it's too big, that is okay, because you can always file it down. But let's go ahead and apply these nails.
All right guys, so these tips are a little too long. I'm gonna take my straight edge clippers and I'm gonna clip off each side. And I'm also going to make this now into a stiletto. So I'm gonna take my clippers and clip off these edges too. That way it makes it a little faster when filing. And I'm just taking my file and I'm gonna go at a 45 degree angle blending down towards the tip and I've got my thumb there protecting the nail skin that way I do not touch the client's nail or skin on the edge but you also want to make sure you're doing this evenly on each side so let's go ahead and shape this into a stiletto Okay, at a 90 degree angle, holding your file straight as, can, as you can, with holding with your fingers, giving that support. You want to file at a 90 degrees back and forth to file your edge. Uh, filing the sidewalls, you want to do a 45 degree angle on each side. Do that evenly, and we are going to shape this now into a coffin shape make sure that you're given that nail support as well and that you're guarding your client's skin but and sometimes i hold mine down sometimes and file that way i can actually see really well what i'm looking at and that is the coffin so now we are going to do this one into a ballerina clip at the very edge because ballerina shape is a lot thinner than a coffin shape is just a smaller version of the coffin more tapered at the end so at 45 degree angle you are going to fall each side evenly uh, falling down towards the tip of the nail and this creates a beautiful, my favorite, ballerina shape. I absolutely adore ballerina shape. My favorite, my favorite, that in the coffin. But just make sure that you are filing that evenly. And sometimes you had to file underneath the nail as well to give it that straight look. So this one is one that I don't wear very often. This is going to be the almond shaped. I don't know a lot of people that do wear almond shape. Um... I mean, I, I think it's beautiful. I love it. I just don't wear it that often. I should wear it more, but I don't. If you like almond shape, let me know down below. What is your favorite? What is your favorite tip? Is it coffin, almond, ballerina, square, or whatever shape you like to wear? All right, another shape that is really nice, and this one we are going to be doing a square. This one is where a lot um, at a 90 degree angle. You want to file your edge. Now, this one's really easy to do. You can do your 90 degree angle on the edge, and you're also going to do a 90 degree angle on your sidewalls, just filing those straight. And you also want to do underneath as well. All right guys, so there are all of the five shapes. I love all these shapes. Like I said, they are very beautiful. But anyway, so now let's get into Gershon, Gershon or Gershon, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but Gershon Poly Gel. So let's get into that. All right guys, so I'm gonna be applying the 
Base Co. from Gershon. And oh my gosh, guys, this smells so heavenly. Like it had, it must be scented because it smells so good. But you want to apply this thinly to each nail. After you apply thinly, you're going to cure this for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sit back and watch. Grab you a pop, coffee, whatever you would like to drink or eat because it's going to be a long video and I'm going to apologize for that now. I will be in and out throughout the video. Hope you enjoy. Leave me a comment because I love responding to you guys and I hope you enjoy. All right guys, so I'm using 75% alcohol and I'm just going to go around and flatten this all around the cuticle, making sure that it is evenly with the nail, like just pull it down little by little. You want to go around your side walls and make sure that those are flat and even. Now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to pull down this poly gel at the edge. After I make sure that all the perimeter is flat, you want to take your brush and you're going to pull this down from the edge very gently and you're going to apply it all the way to the tip, pulling down, gently pulling. So now once I get this all the way to the tip, I'm going to see where my apex is. Now guys, when I take a bead of poly gel, I make sure that I take enough to where my apex is already going to be in that as well. So I'm also going to take my brush and just slowly pull down a little at a time to make sure that the tip is well covered and there's enough product on there when I go to file. But I'm also gonna make sure that I'm looking down the barrel as I'm doing this. So now I'm gonna start at the tip once again, making sure there's nothing in the cuticle part. But I'm gonna take my, make sure that it's completely covered. And now we're gonna cure for at least 30 to 60 seconds in LED. And two minutes in the UV. But I'm just making sure that it is the, the apex is where I want it. So let's cure. Wow, that was so beautiful. That poly gel did so good. But I just want you guys to see from a side view where my apex is and what it looks like. It turned out so beautiful. I absolutely loved using this poly gel. It did so good. But anyways, here is the next one. This is the cover pink. This is so beautiful, guys. I'm going, but I'm going to do the same process on each nail. I'm going to apply my, my spatula. So now I'm going to go and flatten the poly gel around the tip, making sure that the cuticle and the side walls are flat. Once I'm done flattening the cuticles and side walls, making sure that there is product touching each side. And then I will go ahead and take my brush and start pulling down the the edge very slowly and making sure that it is also covering each side of the nail each side of the tip and you're just going to pull this down looking down the barrel as you go and looking around the side walls and stuff because you want to make sure there is product touching each side evenly then once I look on each side and down the barrel I'm going to go back and start pulling down that poly gel pulling my apex into place and making sure that it is evenly spread throughout the nail. So guys, I'm gonna repeat this process on each nail because I don't wanna talk you guys to death. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I can.
All right, so I got it this time, but look how beautiful that shine is. Oh my God, that is just gorgeous. And look at the thumb, it's so pretty too. And I'm just gonna show you one more time how thin. Gorjan, somebody please tell me how to say this name, Gorjan or Gorjan Poly Gel Nail Enhancement Kit, absolutely amazing, well worth having, I absolutely recommend this to anybody that is a beginner to a professional because literally I enjoy this, this was probably like the easiest application other than my nails falling off the hand itself, application of poly gel. Oh my god guys like I absolutely love it love the colors like I would just wear these colors by themselves they're so beautiful I love them well well done Gershon you did Gershon you did an absolutely amazing job with this absolutely love that only thing that I have a little flaw with is I wish that you have your base and top coat in a black pure black bottle and not brown because I'm afraid that I will easily like cure that and then I will lose my stuff but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit that big thumbs up button make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed to this video if you are already subscribed you guys know I love you guys and appreciate all your feedback and your comments love you guys dearly I hope everybody is having a wonderful blessed day. I will make sure to link this kit in my description box for you. Also guys, make sure to check out my discount codes down below too in the description box. Save you some money. And I love you all. Have a great day. Bye!